Hello friends, in this video I will be explaining you how you can calculate the compound interest in JavaScript. So here is a simple application that I have created. You have to put the principal amount here, then interest rate and then years. And then if you calculate, it will display like what will be the final amount after 20 years. So if you for example change here say 25 years then this this value will change so right now it is 3.83 crore so if we calculate it is going to be 9 crore after 25 years so if you invest uh, say 10 10 lakhs uh, for next 25 years every year if you get the interest rate of 20 20 percent then your total amount will be 9.54 crores so let us see how you can do this in the javascript so here is the code for that it is a simple html form i have taken and for the layout i have used the flex so form is basically a flex i have set the property display as flex in the css then there are elements like principal interest rate years and then finally we have got the button once we click on that button so we have got on click attribute and then we are calling this function after user clicks on that calculate button so by default i have set the values like this one so that's why value attribute is given here and the names are given so that i we can access uh, these elements very easily in the javascript code then there is a div with, with the class results so where the results will be displayed okay we are changing the inner html of this div after the calculation happens let us go to the calculate function that is where the magic is happening as you can see we have got the script tag so script tag basically signifies that what follows is going to be the javascript code here we are checking if the event is available so if the event is there so user clicks on the button then we are calling prevent default method so basically this is required otherwise what happens is that on the forms by default the form is submitted to the server and uh, what will happen is that after this function gets executed it will try to fetch another url from the server which we do not want in this case because we don't want to post any data to the server so that's why we have got this prevent default method so basically after the function is executed nothing is going to happen the next thing that we are doing is we are getting the values from the principal rate and the year okay then we are logging it there after that we are converting into the float it is better to convert the strings into the float format next thing that we are doing here is we are just uh, setting some variables final amount data labels now data labels you can ignore because this is used in the charts but right now we are just going to focus on the final amount variable this is the compound interest formula okay so basically we have converted this formula in the javascript code like this and then once the result is available all we are doing is we are using this document dot query selector method to get the reference to the result element we are changing the inner html to the final amount and couple of things that you need to remember here so we are dividing it by uh, this number so basically to get the final amount in the crores because we are displaying the result in crore and that's why i have divided it here the final amount by one crore finally we want to around this whatever final amount is coming to the up to two decimals that's why i've used this two fixed method and this two signifies that we want to round the number up to two decimals that's it and then it will display the result and finally i have got this uh, create chart function though the create chart function is basically being used to create the chart which i will be covering in the next video but for now what is happening is that we are just changing the results in the html property to the final amount so you can see whatever number you put it will work so for example we want to calculate say after 15 years what will be the final amount if you invest 10 lakh today with interest rate every year you, you get the interest rate of 20 percent then what will be the final amount and as you can see final amount will be 1.5 per crore so if you wait for 15 years so if you wait for say 30 years your total uh, final amount will be 23.74 crore it's a very simple application but covers a lot of things in the javascript especially the mathematical functions like power okay and then to fixed this is another method that is being used here parse float another important method the rest of the code is very very simple we are just using the query selector method on the document object to get the reference to the elements and then doing the calculation one thing you need to remember is that here we are using method or power so basically if you use excel there is a caret symbol right so you can use the caret to do the power calculations but 
in javascript you can't use that uh, particular operator that operator is basically is a bitwise operator okay so you can't use this uh, to do the power calculations you have to use method or power to do the power calculations in javascript that's all uh, what i wanted to tell you in this video in the next video i will explain how i have created that chart that you see, that you see uh, when we calculate the final amount so here you see this chart so it is showing like year at this x axis and the y axis it is showing the final amount so in the next video i will cover that thanks for watching